Welcome back, everybody, to Fun Factor RC. My name is Wes, and this morning we're going to take a look at a couple of purchases we made to get us on the dirt track down in Chiha. Uh, first off, I went ahead and upgraded my tool game. They had these on sale. They were $45, and they had them on sale for like 30 bucks. So we grabbed the MIP 5.5 and 7 millimeter socket set and then the Allen metric 1.5, 2.0, 2.5 all the most common used this is all I use right here guys, I mean that is it uh, we also have been working on little tool stands that will hold them and hold your shocks while you're doing maintenance <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see what comes in the package for the MIP tools. Stickers. And also looks like there may be some other stickers in here for indicators. Yeah, there's color indicators and heat shrink. For the tools and what it is is red is going to be two is it going to focus yeah red is going to be two white's going to be the 1.5 2.5 for the blue and they give you some heat shrink that when you put these on there you put the heat shrink on it and seal it in there for good of course your standard MIP sticker for your toolbox or your racing car and these are supposed to be some of the best well I say they're supposed to be some of the best I've used a good many different types of tools you know ordered tools and hardware store tools and when you borrow somebody's tools and immediately you go wow that's really nice you're holding on to one of these uh, I borrowed a friend of mine's to work on a car quickly at a race. Immediately you notice in your hand it is the perfect size. It fits well. It has good traction. It's not heavy. It's very lightweight. <laughs> they give you these cute little MIP. Can we get a focus? MIP fingertip protectors. That will also help keep the tips on these drivers very crisp. You might want to hold on to these and use them while they're in your toolbox. Just so the tips don't get banged around while you're driving to the track. Two MIP stickers. Three stickers for the shafts. I was checking that out. Metal, metal, metal. Good. Uh, I do believe... The tips are replaceable. I'll have to double check that. I, I thought I saw replacement tips. Here is the other set that I bought, similar to the first. Color coded for 5.5 and 7 millimeter, basically for tires and shocks. Uh, it also has your standard MIP sticker and just the drivers in there. They are short stubby drivers they are very sturdy I don't think you're going to be able to replace those tips y'all I think those are permanent uh, good meat around the edge of the barrel so that it won't break I, you can torque on it also worth noting the barrel is very deep where you can sometimes use your shock towers and your shocks will have a long screw that you'll have to get seated over. Uh, these will do that. Awesome tools. We will put stickers on them later. I will get this out of my way. Now, second part of today's video. Uh, we did buy the Mugen. The Mugen X7. No. 7R, bought the, the MBX 7R, and it's going to need a speed control. I talked to a lot of folks, and they said that the speed control 
the XR8 speed control was having issues and that even though it was a higher amperage rating that I should get the SCT. Uh, I do not know if this is true or not yet. I did believe the word of the person I was talking to. I went ahead and made the purchase. I'm going to run that in my vehicle and see how it works. Now, my other Hobby Wing XR10 Pro ESC, I have abused it, run 6.5 motors on it, raced it. It has never been above 100 degrees. It's never once been warm. Um, this here is the Wi-Fi Express module for connecting to your ESC without a cord or without your programming card or your LED card. This will do with your phone and a free app. Uh, this will let you see, see and change settings on your controller while it's active. That means you can be up in the stands driving. If you have to stop and make a change, you can do that if you want. Uh, also, uh, that being said, when you get back to the pits, it is very easy to make changes. Um, we're going to take a good look at this. I will do open boxes for these items, and then I will go ahead and do a separate review for the ESC and Wi-Fi module so that we can see how they work and check out all the options on those. Uh, first off, the Wi-Fi module is that right there. So this is going to go in the car attached to the ESC, has its own antenna, do be aware of that has a reset button on the back yeah, and indicator light yeah. that's going to be it a big box of foam here goes some connector cables adapter cables a book of instructions you know how we do it I will give you guys some instructions here's your user guide there goes your adapter cable. Word up. Alrighty then. Here's the back if you need it in Chinese. I'm kidding. So, here is also in this box was that adapter, the Y splitter. And that looks like that's all that does is split that into a Y. Uh, apparently, this is just a power splitter. It's to split power. But it does have... Nope. Just, yeah, three wires and two wires. So we'll definitely have to read up on that. That does look like a power splitter. And there is your Wi-Fi module. Here is the open box for the Hobby Wing XR8 SET. And it says suitable for 1-8 competition. Well, cool, because that's what I want to do. 1-8 competition. And here we have a large, beefy, 8-scale ESC. Positive and negative leads will be on this side. Uh, I don't think these are... Nope, those are not pulling out. Those are soldered to. And here is your A, B, and C soldered to this side. Your fan connects here. There's also your... Yes, your sensor cable here. Wanted to make sure. And let me say, I like that the sensor cable is on top. I do not like it when the sensor cable is on the side and under the wires, and I have a difficult time getting to it. Uh, this does say 2 to 4S LiPo. Yeah. Cool. Run it, because I am not opposed to running 3S. I will check with the gears. I don't want to burn nothing up my first run out. Here is excellent, excellent extra fan. I do like how Hobby Wing gives you an extra fan. I think that is really cool and also a deciding factor in why I choose Hobby Wing for my ESCs. I have, I have not had any problem out of Hobby Wing with my ESCs. 
Here are your provided wires, should you choose to use them. Any color you wish, but if you want to do it properly, it would be negative, positive, uh, blue is A, yellow is B, orange is C, I do believe. Here is some provided heavy duty. That's pretty good. This is thick heat shrink. Your awesome pink, blue, and black stickers. Woo, that is a manual. Look at that. That is Yalza. Let's just put that back in there. We don't we don't really want to mess with that. Put that thing away. Okay. Excellent stuff. Now, I bought this as a combo. Here. Right there, this combo. Because that's what was available to me. Uh, all this stuff come from my local hobby town. This was a brushless system. Has the ESC and the motor and it was 174. Uh, I actually was only after the ESC. So, we got this motor here. We got a 3652 G2. It is a 3800 KV suitable for 110 scale competitions. 110 scale motor. This is for four wheel drive short course trucks. I want to have a four wheel drive eight scale buggy. So we will probably sell this to recover a little bit of the money. Probably use the money to buy a servo uh, for the Mugen. Yeah, that's for you, Zombro. That's for you, Mugen. Yes, I got the Mugen. Thanks, everybody else, for watching. Y'all be safe. And y'all go drive some RCs today. Get out of the house. Do something.